episode 11 of Detroit Become Human. Last episode, we shot an AI with Connor. We also started a riot. We are now here once again with Marcus, straight after the riot. We have some more news by the Android Riot. Can't be bothered reading. Then we go to the Eastern Space Race. I turn around. No one's there. Interesting. There's some stuff over here. There's a piano. We can play at the piano. What do we play? I won't lie, I'm actually being able to control this with the touchpad. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to play there, but I played the piano. Oh, what the fuck? There was one more thing I could have done before walking off to the edge. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Yesterday, when we set fire to that place, ugh, all that chaos, the flames. In that moment, I enjoyed it. The power, the violence. And I hate myself for feeling that way. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. As they should be. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Do I speak the truth? I was I will. caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Ah. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. 
I strangled him and I ran away. Oh, was that her? No, it wasn't. Her, was, it? <laughs> was she there? No, she couldn't have been the, the Eden Club girl. Oh, no. We're not doing this, are we? What's going on? I... I saw your memories. Lover. No, not Lover. No, what? Lover. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, the lag is real. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. How free? All right, so let's just get all of these people. You're free. We've got two androids. Now, I'm, I want to double check something. Besides that whole first part. Yeah. So that whole part I missed. So convert. Um Okay. All right. Just cuz you know obviously I want to do some different stuff. Come with us. Gotta do it differently, as you might have heard in the first couple episodes. I've got to see what I can do different. Because I am trying to go for this Platinum Trophy. So I want to try to get as many of these done as I can. Now, where's that aggressive owner? There's a parked owner, and then there's the aggressive one over here. Oh my god, is this what's his name? You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. That's right. I need to block the street. They're going to block this street. I was a parked android here. You're free. You can convert that one. You're free. Let's convert these two. You don't have to obey them. You're free. So we're going for a march.
time to march. It's Kara. You're free now. Fifteen new con converts. Damn. We're just marching now. Let's get a different camera angle for a thumbnail. I like the idea of the fist. The fist symbol. Keep looking left and right for some more of them. They lost to Greg. There might have been a shit camera angle to be honest. Just trying to get thumbnails. That's it. Hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! Uh, okay, what do I do in this situation? Well, actually, I don't think... I think it depends on, um, if we're aggressive or not. We ignore here. So, if we raise our hands... Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... We are the marching. We are the yeah, they're marching down the street. We Cleaners there, the people there. Popo, what are they gonna do? Damn, the right shields. Damn. Now, this is once again before we get into it where I have to choose my next decision carefully. Because I don't can't remember what I did last time. Reach the plaza block. Okay. Okay. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. 
We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! I think we disperse. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! Run! Oh well. But they really... Okay. Damn, it's a bit laggy. But we fled. Some of the androids escaped. Yeah, last time John gave his like, Whoa, this game is laggy as. Whoa. Okay, we're just going to move on. Jesus Christ. Okay, now what's going on with this game? What's going on? Hold on. Let me... Eventually... Okay, no, this is ridiculous. I'm literally, I'm trying to go back to the main menu. Yes, confirm. Can I... Reset this... Okay. I'm gonna have to reset my game. Give me, give me one sec. Okay, don't know what went on there, but the game seems to be running fine now, so let's just go back. And we're back here with Amanda again. Where is Amanda this time? She is... Lurking in this middle part here. What in the hell is... Let's try this, see what's going on here. what that does to Connor, but I guess it works. And the lake's gone all cold now. Let's see what Amanda has to say. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Oh, she and I are as well. Ah. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Mm. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Oh. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. Hmm. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. But we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Wow. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Damn. Hank just... What can I do to make a diversion? Did the only thing I can do just let this guy out? Anything else I can do? Okay, guess not. Let's go. To the archive room, I guess. Hey, Hurry up, I can't really run any faster. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Okay, now did I do I answer or do I leave? Let's have a look. Create the diversion. Take key. Dismiss. I'll answer him. Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. <coughs> but don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromads. Bitch! <laughs> well, go on then. Get a fucking move on. Fucking androids. Right. I guess I still have a time limit. What do I still have a time limit? But all right then. Locate Jericho. That's why I'm here to locate Jericho. Hank's password. <laughs> what would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Uh. 
I'm gonna get this fucking password, but just to make sure... What to... What is the password? Oh... I don't even know. I'm gonna make it fucking password. Oh, it was. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Let's go straight up to Simon. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Possible to get the Jericho apparently. Oh, there's Tracy. What have you got? Now, oh, what have you got? Now, the deviant who took a child hostage. Oh, the first guy. Now, I to figure out which one is needed for. So it's the 3983V. 3983V. Which is this guy's got? Alright, now let's give it. No, nope, not you, to you. Simon. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I'll just copy Marx's... Marx's thing then. Yeah, I mimicked his voice. You. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be alright. I came to take you home. Give me the location of Jericho. You've got to leave now. Jericho. Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Oh, 
Oh shit, press the wrong, wrong two button. Oh, he's knocked out. Kind of walking out like a boss. Jeez, bloody Jesus, bloody Christ. Jesus, bloody Christ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there. If you guys enjoyed it, then please leave a like and subscribe. And sorry for that glitch in the middle of that video, but it's all good. See you guys all in my next video. Right, it's out.